People, it's your boy Z Gaming. I'm back for another video on The Walking Dead Road to Survival. And guys, in this video, I want to discuss a couple things. I do know it has been a while since I've done a video. I do apologize about that. Um, it has been storming, raining, thunderstorms, basically where I, in my area for on and off for quite a few days now. Honestly, I think it's been more than a week, and um, it's just been it's been one of the craziest. It's just been raining a lot and storming and stuff, um, and it's affected my internet a little bit um had a couple issues with that as well so i am back though it does seem like everything's kind of finally stabilizing out um i know combat mods have already come into the game um basically you can convert your wood to that so i think that's pretty cool um especially since you know there for a while wood really didn't have a purpose especially if you had your town hall maxed out and everything um in general but i do want to go over the new stuff in the game i got quite a few pools to do as well um, so I'll do these pulls as well in this video. It's like a big um, comeback video, I guess you could say. Um, so before I start, I do want to start with the, uh, let me see here. Um, who is it? Okay, let me start with the McKenzie real quick. Um, I'll go over this character. Actually, no, I think I went over this character already, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, I don't, think, I don't think I did. If I did, I'll go over it again real quick. Um, basically, you know, it's a healer. Active skill is pretty good with the revive so that's one of the first characters i've seen with the active skill revive so that's pretty cool um and then basically a full-on support character so and my armory guide guys is um basically it's all but finished i have to do the last trait because i broke it up into four different traits the red blue yellow and then the green um i got one more trait to do and as soon as that's done i will have it out because i know um i've been talking about it for a while and i will have it out here very soon um basically in general so as far as mckenzie goes um, I don't know why I clicked off of her, but in general, you know, she's a full-on support character. Definitely could be worth getting for defense for sure or offense. Um, Impair, um, really, I would go defense because she's not really for offense, for attack. Um, you can use her for offense, basically, but I would still recommend a defensive build just because she doesn't do any damage with her AR. She's basically um, just a full-on support character, so not bad. Definitely, she's worth pulling for to get that active skill. This guy is very interesting because he's going to tie into the event. Um, this is honestly one of the best characters, I think, in a while that has come out for potentially everybody to get. Um, that leader skill is very good. His adrenaline rush, 325%, 325% damage, and taunt for two turns up to two enemies and up to two team teammates get 25% bonus HP. Stats are not too bad. Um, HP is pretty good. Defense is good. Attack is a little low. So really, his leader skill is very good. All strong and tough teammates get 40% defense and huge bonus to AP when taking damage. So he could be very good for Koa, um, the Blue Magna as well, and um, he's going to help you defend a little bit better. So I think, honestly, once, if he is available for everybody, I think he's going to be a little bit better for melee characters in the future. Obviously, the six-star green Carl will still be beneficial if you use yellows, but I think Eugene is definitely going to become more of a thing once he everybody has him, um, especially if everybody can get him. This is definitely one of the better free-to-play characters if it is a free-to-play, I'm pretty sure everybody will have a chance to get him. Um, but in general, definitely a good character for sure. One of the best characters I've seen in quite a while for free-to-play players to get that has come out. Um, as far as I know, it's supposed to be um, available for everybody based off the roadmap. You do it by doing this roadmap. Um, the stat mods, you get these flower things right here. I'll kind of go over those a little bit. Um, in my opinion, guys, I wouldn't bother with this as much. I know it is gold mods, but I would definitely 100%. Um, try to get this Eugene first if you can. He is definitely worth getting. I think, in my opinion, he's better than the mods right now, especially if you're a free-to-pay player. These mods, you can wait for a little bit. It just all depends. If you spend a bunch, you might not need the Eugene, but as I would definitely highly recommend if you're a free-to-pay player, I would get Eugene first 100%. Um, and then you get these as well. This is pretty cool. Basically, it's like a summer thing. Um, you collect these dumbbells and these um, knee pads, and you can redeem them for... Um, some trainers, that's very cool. And then for the second part, Ulysses, Aiden's, um, and then Benedict's. In my opinion, guys, it's all going to depend on what you want. But since Ulysses can't be farmed, I would recommend getting him first. You can farm Lilith if you do um, the world map stages off of some of them. I believe it's like past 11 or something, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a little bit before. Um, but, you know, I'm probably going to go for the um, Ulysses first just because you can't farm him like you can Lilith. So, in general... So overall, very interesting stuff that's come out with the game. Combat mods is still pretty interesting, still pretty new. Um, I'll go over that more as time goes on, you know, because I didn't really get too great 
of the combat mods. I think I got one gold out of the rest of them. Um, I'll kind of show you guys what I've modded up as far as my characters. I haven't done nothing crazy, but I went ahead and basically put a full tank build on Carl. Um, this is the only gold mod that I got. I went ahead and maxed it out as well. So I get that 440% um, HP bonus, which is pretty good. In general, let me know what you guys got from the Combat Mods roadmap when it came out. And let me know what you think of all this stuff. In general, I think it's good. Um, just real quick with these tourneys. Um, you definitely want to try to get the completion rewards. Because these are definitely going to be vital, guys. That Eugene, as I said, especially if you're a free-to-pay player, is definitely one of the best characters I've seen in a while. Um, next to Blue Dwight that everybody has a chance to get, potentially. So definitely want to try to get him if you can. Um, but overall, you know, five-star tokens, um, gear bags, Ulysses, not bad. The only thing I could see them maybe doing is changing these to, you know, hockey mask, whetstone, stuff like that. And maybe mixing it up here and there, changing the five-star tokens to maybe, like, um, maybe a potential, like, putting some of those, what are they called? Let me see here. Um, they could put some of these lucky tokens in there, perhaps, maybe for the prizes. I think that would be interesting. Maybe 10 for the top player or something like that, especially with it being a 77-day event. There's plenty of stuff. So in general, I think while this is going on, especially with the lucky tokens, I don't see why they couldn't put um, potentially putting some of those for the prizes. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a hundred or anything, but you know, I just think like five, ten, maybe twenty for first place, something like that would be pretty cool. But overall, not bad. Um, you know, as I've said before, that as compared to where the rewards used to be, I do think they've gotten better in time. And then you got this for the um, faction level up. You know, try to get the milestones, 500,000 if you can. Those necklaces are still going on. Um, and then gear bags, legendary medals, five-star tokens, not bad. You know, like I said, the only thing I could see is them potentially putting some lucky tokens. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be in the wars, guys. So definitely want to be ready for cross-region war, regular war when that happens. Um, also, I haven't spoken about it too much, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I heard a bunch of rumors that in the in the upcoming summer... Um, it's going to be possible for you to possibly move regions, especially if your region isn't as active anymore. And I do think personally this could bring back a lot of life to the game. But I do think, guys, that we should be patient with this because a lot of things can go right, but a lot of things could go wrong, especially if they push it out too fast. So even if you're in a dead region, you know, just bear with it a little while. Um, I think it eventually will come out. And once it comes out, it could definitely bring a lot of players back to the game and potentially, you know really extend the life of the game because you can just move from region um now i'm assuming the first time it's probably going to be free but it's probably going to cost coins or something to move and you probably won't be able to do it but every few months or something like that i would assume so you can't just sit there and move over and over again but you know like i said i think it's cool has a lot of potential um but let me know what you guys think in the comments below as well about your reasons etc um so in general i went over the characters um I already went over this wheel as well, so... And then Romanos with the Premier character right now is not bad. Um, but that roadmap, guys, is very tough. If you do do it, I would definitely recommend you try to use a Shiva um, or an Erica, especially, or Dante, a Revive or a Stun character is ideal because you got to keep the um, characters ARs from going off or they'll mess your team up pretty bad. But let me get to the pools, guys. So I got, like I said, I got four five-star pools, um, some prestige tokens, four-star pool, two four-star weapon pools, and an elite item token pool, you know, like I said, again, I couldn't really, I could record, but with my internet messing up, I couldn't really get any videos out, so I just kind of decided to save up everything for once everything got stable, stabilized again, and then I would put out a video, so I'm just going to do all these pulls in this, just open this, I know it's just helper rewards, I'll pull this elite item token, okay, I got a Hannah, that's better than that, um, or that's better than just a um, bird or something, so, oh yeah, guys, I also did get the Lori, I didn't miss her, um, pretty cool character, definitely was very good to be able to get her for free by just um, getting her to level 80 and then being able to ascend her without having to use any trainers or anything, so that's cool. Um, let me know if you guys did get the Lori as well, so let me do this 4 star pool. Um, I don't know why that popped up, sorry about that guys. Um, let me see here, 4 star weapons, 2 of them, so what can we get? Okay, Michonne's Katana, I actually did need that weapon, that's very cool. Um, I don't know why that keeps popping up. Let me let me put, let me, sorry guys, let me put on my do not disturb. I think I forgot to turn that on. Um, I forget to turn that on sometimes and I get notifications and stuff from Discord and stuff. So, let me see here. Prestige recruits, yeah, I'll pull this one. Um, as far as this, any five star I don't have or, you know, any character for your museum collection would be cool. So, 
or you know possibly another shiva i wouldn't mind to get another shiva that would be awesome as well let's pull it on green coral here we go and i got four star yellow molly i actually think i got rid of her so that's cool to have her back um you guys know who i want out of here hopefully i can get four different characters um but i want green morgan because he's i can use his leader skill to farm or any four or five stars i don't have so let's pull it on shiva as well four or five stars come on okay heath already got him that's a duplicate red um lee i think i've had him before um david i've never had him so that's cool and then kane so i haven't had a kane either so that's pretty cool so three um actually two out of two out of four were new characters i think i've had lee before but i think i used him for ascension and i already got this green heath so he'll definitely be used for fodder um in general so that's cool two new five stars i'll take it um as far as the necklaces go they all winded down about 10 days left i've claimed the gps's in the canteens Really, I'm just I'm just kind of getting a mixture of everything, as you can see. You know, I've got six five, six there, one whetstone. Um, just getting that in general, just mixing it up so I have a little bit of everything to keep leveling up my six stars. Um, but that aqua aquamarine necklace event definitely um, was very good for the game. Made a bunch of new six stars, so people get them this year four and stuff. That's pretty cool. I've got five six stars. Um, or yeah, sorry. Um, yes, five six stars now tier four, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I know there was a lot in this video, and um, like I said, the Armory Guide will be coming out soon, so bear with me on that, and I appreciate your patience and everything while I was, had my short absence there. You know, like I said, I had a lot of issues with my internet and stuff with the weather, so couldn't really get any videos out. But um, as always, guys, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, the links to everything is in the description, um, and I will do an updated Ross reveal video probably in the next video, if not after the Armory Guide, so... I'm going to bring back the um, rating with Z, etc., um, where you guys make an offense, and I'll use in the video and give you a shout-out for it. Um, and in general, you know, like I said, with the Armory guy coming out, that will be out as soon as, it's, as soon as I get that last trait done. And with all that really being said, guys, this is your boy Z Gaming. Peace.